Madison, Wisconsin in the States. Um, so I arrived on Friday um, afternoon or Friday, late Friday night. Um, what's today? I've lost track of days. I think it's Tuesday or Monday maybe. Um, I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. So jet lag's been pretty brutal <laughs> and taxing. Uh, so this is day two of training. Uh, for me, or proper training in a gym, um, and it's it's been a bit of a struggle. It's been slow. It's been hard. Um, but hopefully by tomorrow, I'm feeling really good, and I can start getting into some like kind of harder stuff, and you know, feeling normal again, I suppose. What's your general plan between now and when the games are starting? I don't really have a plan to be honest. I just I just want to have a really good kind of week. Well, this week I just want to have a good week of training. I've had a really disruptive few months. Uh, I've had a heap of. Um, pretty cool events happening with me in my personal life. So my training at home hasn't been how I'd like it to be and it hasn't very, been very structured. So to just come here and, and have all day to just train and, and train when I want to train has been pretty cool. So that's my main goal. I haven't really got a plan. I'm just going to come in, do some things that I want to do, do some, you know, a few tough workouts just to kind of adapt to how the game is going to be and then hit the game as hard as I can. Uh, you just had a baby boy at home yeah. and how has all that I'm sure that that's been a little bit disruptive to your training, but it's also a super exciting thing. Can you talk a little bit about how that's been? It's, it's been unreal. I made the choice, or my wife and um, myself uh, kind of made a choice before the Open started, um, whether I was going to compete this year or not, um, just because of the timing with, with Bubs on the way. And we just decided, and Lauren was a, kind of a big push for me to compete, and that's what I do, that's what I train all year for. I've got my own gym, you know, so um, it's a big part of my life. Um, as well as having a kid's pretty pretty massive too, but we took the chance and um, funnily enough he, he came early, eight weeks early. Um, so that kind of put a bit of a hold on my training, but it was also really good that I can come to Madison now and, and just focus on what I've got to do rather than worrying about Lauren back home. She's got a really good support network, her family and stuff at home, are, you know, looking after that side of things. So I've got a clear conscience and yeah, I can just focus on that. What's the most exciting thing about being a, a new dad? It's everything. Like everything's new and everything's, I suppose, I don't know how to explain it. It's just more motivating. He's gonna look up to me one day when he's a bit older. So, you know, to try and do well and kind of set that standard for him. Last year wasn't, I assume, really an ideal result. You were 39th out of 39, 40. Yeah. And yeah. How are you different this year? And what are your goals? or maybe your thoughts around your placing this year. Like what, what's your approach to it? <sighs> Way more relaxed. Um, so last year, I think the excitement of it all just overwhelmed me. Um, and I suppose when I first started CrossFit, I, I come into the sport looking up to all these guys, and you know, you're like, oh, these guys are beasts. Like, you know, Bridges is an animal, Froning's, yeah, he's a beast. And you look up to them so much, and then I got to that stage where I, you know, I was at that level, and when, I think I put them on a pedestal uh, more than anything. And I, I suppose I didn't feel, in my own mind, I didn't feel like. I was at that level, even though I was there, um, which is, you know, it's kind of silly to say, but when you've done all the hard work and you've, you know, you've proven yourself, I still felt that way. So um, that was a big eye opener. Um, and I think I walked away from that, not realizing it until recently. I suppose I did some um, personal development stuff. Um, and yeah, I just I kind of realized that and it was a big eye opener. So this year is really cool. I can just come in with a clear, clear slate and, you know, just put my, my true effort out there and see where it takes me, you know. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm alright. That's alright. I'll hug you, but I'm wet. I'll still probably. Yeah. <laughs> just for, I'm so sorry about yeah. swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you got your bags, hey? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> <laughs> way better. <laughs> way better. <laughs> way better. Yeah. I'm glad as it runs, we're not all going to run into the water at the same time. But tomorrow, yeah. so we might. <laughs> my relationship with swimming. I just like putting my head under the water. And guess what? you got to do it to swim. Oh, it's exciting. I think this is the first year I'm actually excited to be at the Games. Mind you, I have a different perspective on it this year after last year. Didn't think I'd come back, so I'm happy to be back.
Captain Powder in the shoes. Apparently that helps getting in on and off. Thanks, Duncan. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hot tip from Duncan. Yeah, that's uh, Duncan Stevens, category uh, 50 to 54. Just, yeah, just been in CrossFit for five years. Got my own gym, CrossFit gym, as in Dumbass. CrossFit Dubbo. Yeah. Yep, Duncan from Dubbo. So you reckon back run on? with you put socks, socks on? Don't run with socks. No, I'm going to run with socks, but I won't. Yeah, don't on the way back. The way back. On the way back, no socks, eh? What are you thinking, Ricky? What are you going to do? Oh, I like, I like keeping my feet warm, so I'll put the socks back on. <laughs> Six flights I had. <laughs> I was a tight ass and booked a shit flight, so I had a few stopovers. It was like Brisbane to Sydney, Sydney to LA, LA to Denver, Denver to Madison. And it was like 24 hours of flying or something like that. So yeah, that was a rookie error. I'm thinking about changing my way home. So <laughs> it's not going to be ideal after like a week of competition. I was pretty lucky. Like the guys at my gym organised a, a pretty cool fundraiser for me. Uh, it's just hard now, like with the timing of. Um, my son Zephyr kind of turning up and we're renovating at the same time so we just had all these things at once and that makes it hard um, but the, the fundraiser they did for me was awesome and obviously sponsors help out in that as well. There's always something you can't do, there's always something that just like breaks you or just really tests you to the point of where you just get the shits and walk out of the gym like fuck this, like <laughs> why am I doing this and then the next day you're like how good is this, I'm going back and I'm going to smoke that again. Um, so yeah, it's always cool um, and that was my experience last year competing at the games like I got annihilated But then this year it's like I feel so much more refreshed and I know where I'm at and what I had to work on for the year So that was cool Yeah. We'll kind of get hit each other for yeah. and then and then do a course. Then we'll start doing a bit of a course. I will do them maybe into this or something like that. Sounds good. Build into it. We're at TNT Adventures obstacle course, getting a bit of a run through, and getting some tips and tricks to how we can tackle the obstacle course. Get, get your legs on it. Tip over. How many days before the games, and what do we know about the obstacle course so far? How long till the games? I think it's just over a week until the games start. And we know that there's logs for sure at the games. There's also monkey bars. I don't know the distance between them. So we're gonna figure out whether we actually have to swing to each one or we can reach. And there's just some really large structures similar to this. So I don't know if it's gonna be a cargo net or a rope climb.
NCAAs in really. I'm supposed to be sipping it throughout training but I actually forgot today. I found it's actually helped me a ton just to be able to recover a bit better. And um, yeah, my body feels a bit better the next day which is nice. And then afterwards, about 30 minutes later or 40 minutes later, I'll have a protein shake. Yeah. Yeah. So either True Post or the Oats and Whey because I really like the Oats and Whey. It's so smooth. A lot of people love those ones. Love it. And what's your favorite flavor for the uh, Post? Chocolate. Anything chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> yeah, the chocolate mug cake. <laughs> and the pancake's great. I love it all. Driving home from obstacle course and training in Fort Dillac, and we spotted some hay bales. So Chad is like, "Want to push some hay bales? For like a snail?" I said yes. So we literally just pulled over on the side, and started pushing some hay bales. It's what you do. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. What's your advice for that, Chato? Uh, small hand, small hand, small feet. Don't let it stop. Just keep it moving. It's got to be aggressive. Keep pushing. On your hands to be yeah. around here. Yeah, they need to be lower. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm old. I'm old. Get in the middle. In the middle. Lower. Hands wide. Hands wide. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Drive. Oh, just from watching. Oh, please. Just from watching, you can tell it's as hard as hell. Oh, it's hard. I don't reckon. I reckon it's the one crowd that actually knows how difficult it is. Because if it was easy, they'd be out there and not you. Yeah, that's true. 